well. I mean, I, I was astonished when I saw and shocked when I saw the boards had gone up um, and inquired, why has why the bridge been shut? Um, came a string of our oh, structural damage, uh, rust, general decay. And I says, well, surely we're going to uh, refurbish the bridge, aren't we? Renew it. But we haven't got any money to do it. Don't worry about that. Where there's a will, there's a way. We'll find the money. I, I really wanted to do this project because it's quite dear to my heart because I'm Luton born and bred. And um, in 1953, the last time that the bridge was actually worked on, had any work done, and that was the year I was born. Um, we started at the end of March and, um, and then we appointed our contractor, um, Top Bomb, um, who did a, an excellent job for us, I might add. From the start, we, we took it down in two bits, lowered it down onto pontoons, floated across to the side where we used a crane to lift it out onto a hard standing area there. We encapsulated it, shot blasted it, and then done the necessary repairs on the steel work. We then repainted it inside the uh, encapsulation, and then we floated the bridge back out, craned it back into position, hung the hangers onto the, from the cables to the bridge, and then uh, laid all the decking on and done the concrete repairs to the towers. Delighted uh, to be here today at the reopening of the suspension bridge because one of the things we look for and one of the things the flag demonstrates is that the site uh, cares for the heritage of the site and it's a fantastic example here today. Uh, my connection to the bridge, I've been in Woodham Park for roughly 25-30 years. The bridge has always been here. It's a shame to see it shut down many years ago. Uh, glad to see it being repaired. Should be a good boost for my business, which is uh, the ice cream across the road. Uh, definitely a job well done. Very, very happy to see it open today and hopefully um, business should be booming. Today we opened our iconic bridge that had been closed for a long while because it, it was 100 years old and needed repair. So we're all very, very pleased that it's open and people are walking across it and it's a real iconic picture for Luton and the park here. It means a hell of a lot to Luton. And somebody says to me a couple of weeks ago that this bridge unites communities. And I thought it was just a throwaway comment. But the more I thought about it, the truer it is. It actually unites communities.